ういうものでも<笑> OK thanks for coming and for joining the, this session it will be like、uh, provided by us like the hub employees like me Tony Stovsky and Barbara Klein、uh, it will be focused on how to build a hub Or, like, how to start the hub and with all of these operational activities that we are doing、uh, in the C Hub、uh, for two years now with,、uh, with, uh, with the grants that、uh, we are getting from the Wikimedia Foundations, but、uh, from our perspective, like from the staff perspective. And、uh, it will be very operational, not,、uh, not focused on the strategic things that also it is important when you're building a hub. Uh, and uh, we, will,、uh, we will get through、like、a few, some of the topics that、uh, it is important、uh, from our side, like how to build that. Yes, th、uh, thank you, Tony, and thank, thank you everyone for joining this session. So, as Tony said, it's. Yeah, we have to switch it here. Oh, yeah. 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 So, it's about building a hub, and really from. Our perspective, staff perspective. So, how we see things and what was happening when and what had which kind of importance for us. So, there are several things that we would like to talk about. First, being HR processes, as you can,、uh, human relations, it's、uh, employment of、uh, staff members, first one, second one, and so on.、Uh, then, the second thing that we would like to discuss is building r e l a t i o n s h i p between us, staff members, and、uh, communities or affiliates. So, basically, communities that we, are,、um, that we are serving in the region. Then, it's about our activities, implementation. Our relationship and relations with steering committee members, and the last thing being us as a hub and Wikimedia Foundation.、Um, so these are, the, these are the things that we will, be, we will be covering. And the first one employment process.、Uh, so briefly, it all started、um, from there was an interim steering committee, and they had to decide、uh, what kind of qualities they want in their first staff member.、Uh, And they had to make job description and do the recruitment.、Uh, when this recruitment was done, there was onboarding, which is an extremely important part of this process because no matter if you are recruiting someone from outside the movement or someone that is already part of your community or even employee of some of the affiliates or communities,、um, it would be very important to onboard this pe person because without this process, it、uh, Yeah, it really doesn't make sense. It's something crucial to establish also relationships in the team and also to understand、um, who is doing what and who will be supervising that person. So, employment in itself is t not the end of the process. Then, evaluation is the continuation of that process and closely monitoring and talking about the progress.、Um, so, I mentioned job descriptions, I mentioned onboarding,、um, and as it happened with the first employee, then The same process continued when deciding about the second one. It's always when extending the team, it's not good to do like big expansion. So, like, well, at least in our case, because there are not many people who are able to supervise this. So, it's good to do it step by step. So, when we were thinking about or knowing that we would be employing a second employee and that Tony became that employee, we were also looking what kind of qualities are we missing, what's something that I have and that, that I'm not, that I'm lacking,、uh, what we need. To have more in the team, and that's how also the next job description was created, and, and Tony got this、uh, job.、Um, I will not focus on our employees, four employees that we have now, because、uh, in this case, they are focused specific, specifically on communities Greek, Cypriot, Moldova, and Romania. And、um, in that case, we had to work closely with、uh, communities. Um, uh, and user groups that, that, that we wanted to support, and together with them, we were deciding what they find important and、uh, which employees they want.、Um, okay. Yep,、uh, so that 
also the next very important thing uh, to to do like when you uh, when you are forming a hub is getting to know your community so as you know see hub central and eastern european hub it's a regional hub so we started to get to know our communities and uh, we are dealing uh, with uh, various communities so some of them are like uh, 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 like pretty big chapters as wikimedia polska uh, uh, Wikimedia Czech Republic, but uh, some of them are very, very, very uh, unorganized, like even individuals. Uh, so we don't have like uh, uh, any major uh, groups in uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Bulgaria, uh, on example, or Lithuania. So uh, it was necessary to start for us when we uh, we started with Barbara uh, to create uh, even a contact list. Uh, like uh, we had some of the, them like uh, as a contacts uh, from the uh, steering committee members and from other uh, sources. But uh, for us, it was uh, very. Uh, uh, tough uh, at uh, some points to organize some meetings with uh, almost every community from the sea region and that was including like uh, 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 having a first uh, contacts first uh, um, uh, online meetings with them and uh, we noticed that like uh, when we started and we had uh, that meetings with them uh, it is not like uh, just uh, like asking questions from them but just hearing them like uh, what they're doing uh, what they're missing like uh, uh, just uh, uh, and uh, I'm joking that uh, me and Barbara sometimes we are like uh, just a help desk or like just a, a healing clinic uh, for them like uh, here but, like uh, uh, in the in the in the like uh, in the hub uh, it is not like uh, we are uh, uh, helping uh, like to them to every pro uh, problem that they had but uh, uh, just to to be heard. Uh, from somebody and it's, it's very important for them. Uh, also, like, uh, uh, we are having like this, uh, we're trying to have these conversations uh, regularly with them, not just with online meetings, but also with various communication channels. And now after two years, I can even proudly say that like uh, we are uh, when we are having uh, another discussions or like uh, online meetings with them, we are receiving like a concrete uh, request from them. It is not like uh, just uh, talking with them now, but it's like more like uh, interactions between uh, uh, us as a, uh, staff members and uh, uh, communities from other sides. Also. Uh, it's very important to say that uh, when uh, the hub is formed and uh, that uh, hub uh, can be formed uh, on in our example like uh, from the uh, steering committee members or dedicated volunteers who dedicate their time to build uh, that hub to, to 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 have that idea in the first place and uh, they have in mind maybe something different so uh, for us uh, when i started and i started last year in february and barbara started uh, in november december like uh, 2022 after the ce meeting in ohrid uh, it was uh, they had like a some list of activities that they wanted to do like during the the, the period of uh, when they formed the C hub uh, but uh, we found after we talked that uh, like uh, after we talked with the communities we noticed that some of these activities uh, cannot be uh, cannot be prioritary be focused at that time so we decided uh, to organize the meeting, in-person meeting, with, along with the steering committee and us as a staff members in Zagreb uh, previous year, uh, 2023, and to restructure the, like, uh, the, the, uh, to restructure the activities. Uh, so uh, during that, that meeting, uh, during that uh, in-person meeting, uh, we spoke uh, like, uh, a lot uh, how to to make a changes in this uh, this plan? So uh, that is our message to to everyone. Like uh, it is that uh, you you uh, you you will have that conversation with the communities. So we will, you will adjust to to these uh, new changes that, that they want to see from you as a hub. And uh, 
it is uh, like uh, like uh, I I mentioned during the the opening of this session that uh, we will talk much more like operational and that is not the same with the strategic goals that they had in in the first uh, so these dedicated volunteers that I mentioned and uh, the so interim steering committee and then steering committee members. Uh, had something differently, like maybe even higher goals that they want to achieve uh, with the C Hub, but uh, they may be, be a long term goals. So uh, we need to that to adjust and to direct into something concrete, something operational, something that staff members can do it and can achieve in a certain period of time. So we need to split these activities into smaller pieces so that uh, we can do like in, uh, in that uh, period of time. And uh, uh, we, 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 uh, we, I think we achieved very much of that. And during this year, like uh, year three of the C Hub, we, on, uh, on example, this year, we have like a, even KPIs, like a key performance index, uh, like um, metrics, and we are following quite closely what we are doing uh, uh, with uh, quantity, and we can follow like uh, which activities we are doing now, and uh, uh, what what is missing, what uh, is delayed, uh, and we are making evaluation on the six months period of time, and uh, we are still adjusting our programs if needed. So the next next topic. Um, so as we mentioned, we have it's it's two of us. If we disregard support for communities, so there are two staff members. We have ten dedicated steering committee members. Two of them are even here today, um, and. This all Botoni mentioned, so that means our contacting communities, our readjusting activities, adapting them to reality, that all took time, that didn't happen overnight. I'm talking here about many months, even more than a year. These are some things, especially relationships building, that really take time. So also in this regard, with steering committee members, it's not something that happened overnight that every one of us knew exactly what the other one is doing and how things should look. From the first year, we had this set of activities, and Tony and I were doing from the operational side the best we can to implement what was asked from us or what we together agreed in the end. But when it comes down to practice, it's also about steering committee members adjusting to this reality and also taking ownership and uh, being also together with us responsible because they're, they're the ones who are steering st uh, Central and Eastern European Hub. So I can say that from one rather chaotic situation in the beginning, where we had 10 people who are very enthusiastic, eager, they want to supervise everything, and uh, they want to follow up all meetings, which is not realistic, because that's not their full-time job, we managed, together with uh, Clara, she's our HR, um, she's responsible for HR in the steering, uh, steering committee, but together with her, we were able to give more structure to this process, and that means that we were able to make subgroups or working groups, and that means that each steering committee member could sign up and decide which topics of interest does he or she have. And that means that you as a steering committee member cannot follow everything what is happening from programmatic communications, administration, but you are rather responsible, more responsible to some, and obviously, you can take part in as many as possible these working groups, but still, when it comes to some concrete meetings and preparation work, only few steering committee members, which can be accompanied by interested people from the region or outside, are, um, are responsible. So yes, there, it was really important uh, to have these clear roles and responsibility. And then, what was also mentioned previously, to have regular evaluations on half-year basis to see what is, well, how do we feel, how does steering committee feel about our performance, how this all is, uh, how everything is progressing. And the final point, um, our communication and relationship with Wikimedia Foundation. As you know, C Hub is financed by Wikimedia Foundation, and that means that they are the ones who are, uh, who are granting this money to us. Um, it was very important from very beginning of the implementation of the grant and project implementation of the hub project implementation 
to have regular communication with uh, Wikimedia Foundation staff members. To be able to share with them what we are doing, what is working, what is not working, because they are the ones in the end who are approving our reallocations when something is, uh, when we want to make changes in the budget that also have to approve our activities and implementation. Um, that also wasn't happening from the beginning like super smoothly because it took time for us to adjust to one another. Although we have monthly meetings, we are not the only thing that Wikimedia Foundation staff is taking care of. So I would say that it's really a process that takes year, year and a half if you want to establish like regular good functioning relationship in which you are able to follow each other in a proper way and then uh, comment on things. Um, and even in this established communication, when it came to applying for the next grant for our second year, and everything was decided who has to do when, for us it was still not completely clear when we will even know that our second year grant is approved. So I would say that apart from everything that was mentioned, this communication and clear, um, well, clear verbalization of what has to be done from both sides, from your from the institution that is giving you money, and in our case, the WMF, is very important. Um, yeah, we walked you through all what we, from our perspective, found important, and we wanted to give you time to ask us questions. Nice ones or less nice ones. <laughs> Thank you, Barbara. Uh, my name is Douglas from the East African Regional and Thematic Hub. Yes, please. Uh, yeah, so uh, my question would be on how did you get any support from the community members, from the affiliates in the region that have um, staff? Like, I know, like, CE, CE is composed of over 20. 21 or more entities, but then in those roles, um, the members that are part of CEE Hub, is there a way that they played a role in assisting you in those tasks as staff members? Because I know some affiliates in the region, in CEE, might have full-time staff, so probably they might be donating their time or something like that. Was that something that you considered? Yeah, so for us that was a very important part. Um, especially the, the fact that few of our steering committee members are also employees of some of those affiliates uh, from the region. And they were able to dedicate their, well, the most important resources, time, and also their energy to help with establishing of things. So I can mention here Clara, she's employee in Czech Republic. Um, she was from the very beginning very involved with several uh, working groups and, and areas. But also others who are not maybe part of the steering committee, but are employees in the region, we were able to get their support. And um, it's not that others who are volunteers are, were not there for us, on the contrary, in a, in a big way, yes. But still those who are employed, well, they are employed then full time, and they were ab able to dedicate more time. So that was one important part also to get this support. Yeah, <clears throat> I have a question. Um, so how challenging was it to reach out to, let's say, underdeveloped uh, communities uh, in order to like, make them alive, make them, let's say, more, more developed? What, what challenges did you face in order to, for example, if there are some um, other hubs uh, or um, representative of hubs around here that want to know what to pay attention to most when contacting some uh, communities that are still just language communities that want to get up to at least like a user group? Mm. Uh, I, I can offer the, the, the answer to that because like uh, for us, like it was a Lithuanian community it was the hardest one to 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 be like contacted to get uh, like somebody who is from there, and we are still struggling struggling with that country. Uh, but uh, like uh, I I get uh, even to the like editors level, so I get reviewed like who edits on Lithuanian Wikipedia, 
and uh, like I followed their edits and I contacted their like one of the admins and uh, he offered us like because at the beginning we had like these uh, questions like uh, uh, to get answers from the the communities and he like he was in the, some contacts with us but it was hard like so if that community is not uh, like uh, it doesn't have any user group and doesn't have any like Wikimedia activities. Uh, if it, it if it is only focused on Wikipedia projects like uh, Wikidata or Wikimedia Commons, so it it will be very hard. But uh, we are still in some kind of contact with them, but it it is hard. So and I, my advice will be even to focus on the editors if you don't don't have any other contacts. And just like a little addition to to this. Also, Cyprus is, is, is a good example when, because when we started, there was no user group there. We didn't even have any contact or we had one, no feedback. And then we tried again. Then we found out another person and, uh, and then it clicked. It also was about us not stopping, but trying. And then when we made uh, connections to Anna from, uh, from Cyprus, it just started rolling. We helped with rapid grant and then they, she gathered few people and they started cooperating from both sides of island and well, now they are a recognized user group. So um, I think it's also about timing. I mean, yeah, but it, it's, it's about timing. It could have really gone different. It could have also happened that no one there reacted or there was no one at this po point in time. There is no like, um, like really universal recipe, but you have to really invest a lot of time and energy in these personal connections and reaching out. What Tony said from editor level to oh, who knows whom, telegram group, emails, uh, yeah. Well, be, without harassing people, but still, uh, be persistent. yeah, be, be very, be, be, be persistent. And even like, okay, you don't take no in this personal way. You are just, uh, um, you try more and you hope for the best. <clears throat> Thank you. Um, hi, I'm Patricia from Wikimedia Chile. Um, how do you manage to not overlap your executive task and the executive task that other staff members have in dif the different affiliates that... Uh, conform your hub? Uh, we're quite different. Uh, so like uh, they're focused on the national level and uh, like only uh, we're coordinating with them if uh, we want to organize uh, or, or not organize but support uh, some regional campaign. An example, if uh, this year we supported International Roma Day and that campaign is organized primarily by the Wikimedia Serbia employees, so we will be in contact with them like uh, even from the start. Uh, so uh, the, like employees, staff members of the affiliates is doing much more like I would say like national level, like uh, within, within their communities and uh, within their uh, affiliates, uh, but we are doing quite uh, on the regional level, like cross-regional level, and we don't uh, have overlap so far. <laughs> yeah, perfect. We don't have overlaps, but this, what Tony said, always checking in, uh, communication, checking in. Uh, we are doing this, we are organizing this learning session. Do you have someone that you want to include in that? Uh, do you want to recommend something? And regular communication. Um, Cornelius, hi. I just wanted to know, you didn't mention the CE meeting at all, I think, during your presentation. Could you describe your relationship between the hub and the CE meeting, what you do and what you don't do around the CE meeting, logistics slash program? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I can start at least, uh, because it's maybe it could be a longer conversation that we can continue. So when we started, uh, the situation around CE meeting was that there was no process established uh, even around bidding or who is the next host. So when I was in Ohrid, I was curious about the next meeting, and I asked, uh, yeah, Hen knows this also well, I asked, like, okay, so who is the next host? And they said, like, oh, we have this practice that um, when we have a last party, we ask who will be the next host, and then we're all together, and someone says, yeah, it's me. Well, I, as a, well, I'm not, I didn't come from the movement context, and I never experienced this kind of collab collaborative work before. For me, that was uh, quite strange. I was used to more uh, processes and procedures. And I said, like, okay, but what if there are more or several? Isn't it better to put it in some kind of order? So what we started since last year, we established a bidding process. Nothing complicated. It's just making a meta page, uh, setting some... Um, uh, setting some guidelines and asking few questions like if you want to be host next year to see 
who is interested and then to assess if more people are interested who would be the best candidate for that year. So last year we had two applications and Istanbul was chosen. Uh, so that's, that's, that's this or bidding related organizational part. The other side of this is pr uh, programmatic part. Um, and also grant related. So uh, once the, when it's decided who the host will be, we are able also to support that beat community or user group also in writing this grant application if they want. We are not forcing this. If they want to do it on their own, also no problem. When the grant is approved, okay, Wikimedia Foundation plays a role on that side, then we are also, um, one of us is also part of the program committee. That doesn't mean that we are deciding about whole program because the program committee is composed of many people from the region, but together with others, we are sitting in it and also being able to discuss um, what are the applications, submissions, uh, also we are part of this grading uh, process. So we have some kind of overview of the program, we are in charge of the bidding, but when it comes to the implementation on site, well, not much. We are there, obviously, uh, physically, we can support as much as we can, but it's then basically up to the host, not much is, uh, it's outside of our control. Yep. This is the same is connected with the Sea Spring, like Sea Hub. It, it doesn't own uh, C Spring and C meeting, but uh, it is uh, supporting them. So we are trying to do to 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 be like that. Uh, at least uh, it, that is like for now. <laughs> yeah, I agree with Barbara. Uh, most part is like uh, covered by the hosts, uh, especially the infrastructure. Uh, part it's covered fully uh, by the host, but I'm hoping that C Hub will take care on the C meeting uh, more in future years. They will develop some uh, procedure for uh, hosting or for deciding how the things will work in C meeting, and uh, like in future, it's fully get like some part of the work to the C Hub, not just to host. I think we are running for time. Yeah, okay. we don't have time. Yeah, this is my, I'm asking the last question and I'm bundling it up <laughs> in, in three uh, comments. So the first one is on um, how do you, uh, how does the CEE deal with, with uh, some chapters that might be larger than, than the hub? Have you faced any challenges with chapters that are within CEE but are larger than the hub in terms of maybe uh, the yeah. budget they're having or something like that. Then secondly, um, how do you deal with similar initiatives? I know like you're in touch and discussing with other hubs like uh, Wikimedia Europe, for example, I was there in the other session, but then is this collaboration mutual or you have a formal uh, way of working or otherwise because Wikimedia Europe is, I think it's, it's a registered entity, but CEE is not. So how is that relationship handled? Then the last one, is on, um, do you have plans on self-sustainability strategies as, as the EE? Okay, you can cover the first one, I take the second and then. Uh, so on example, Wikimedia Postgate has 10 employees or more, I think. I don't know how, how it's the uh, current number. Uh, it is quite uh, larger than us, but we don't have like any overlap, as I said, like uh, they're doing like uh, different job roles than us. So. Don't, we don't feel like uh, like uh, that uh, like any conflict with them. Uh, uh, so and uh, about the uh, uh, other hubs like that uh, that you mentioned, Wikimedia Europe, they, they are focused much more on another topic and very specific one, advocacy. And we are focused on the regional level, supporting uh, largely uh, like uh, small communities in our uh, in our movement and supporting other campaigns. So it is quite different, also in in uh, some uh, kind of ways. Um. So, so basically, with uh, you ask also about formal support, uh, uh, formal cooperation. We do have regular meetings, and what we try to do during this Wikimania is also established uh, contacts with other hubs, and that's why we had a session or workshop slash session yesterday, uh, where we, for the first time in person, were able to meet representatives from North America, South, um, East, West Africa, and also ECAP, which was very valuable, but. Until now, we didn't have some regular meetings, but the goal is to have and to try to learn it from each other and support each other as much as we can. Um, and the third about sustainability, 
also, that's also part of our at least plans and hopes. Uh, during the first year, we already went because it was possible. There was the opportunity to uh, apply for one external grant, um, which it, it was financing from Wikimedia Sweden. V Wikimedia Sweden approached C Hub because they needed few countries from the CE uh, to apply for one grant application because this um, uh, institution giving money wanted to support partnerships in Baltics or uh, for their their Near East partnership. I'm finishing. So we were able to um, we were able to motivate or, or even not well to contact few affiliates and user groups and we decided who would be applying for this grant and this uh, this grant was given. So there are plans also to work on that. Thanks a lot. Thank you. I'm complete. Uh